Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer out in the field. This time, we're in Calico, California. We're just a little bit east of Barstow and we're here for twofold reasons. Get it? Geology joke insert here. Uh, one is to talk about this beautiful geology behind me and the second one is to talk about the cultural importance of the historic town of Calico itself. a super quick geology lesson. So what we have here is exposed fold caused by both the San Andreas Fault and the Garlock Fault. What's interesting about then this exposure is that we can see there's a set of anticline when the folds, the layers themselves, laws of stratigraphy, are then folded upward, make an A that's anticline, and then often you have areas that they'll make a V or being a syncline. So I'm within these folds that are here. Uh, the deposits here that are exposed, we're looking at a 16 million year old Barstow formation. What's exciting about this is that it's a lot of different material. We have fluvatile, which means that it was brought in by running water. We have lacustrine, which is more of lake bed sediments. And we also have some um, volcanics, some tuff and a little bit of basalts that are a little farther north. So we get a lot of different uh, geology elements that are brought into this material that we see that's exposed. And what makes it exciting is it tells us about a history of the past. And all of this unique geology then kind of builds into why this location of Calico became so important. In fact, it was one of the, the greatest silver mines in the state of California at its peak. But I, I wanted to kind of bring attention to the geology. This is the kind of like a weird part of the parking like area that people often kind of overlook. And it's really such an incredible exposed piece of geologic history to this area. Welcome to Calico. As I said earlier, this was the largest silver mine in California at one point. As you can see, it opened up in 1881. Now what's, I think, kind of the cultural history and importance of this is that it was about, you know, within 20 years, the mine itself didn't do so well, it kind of ran out. Um, and then what was kind of cool is that in 1915, they hired a young gentleman who was living down in Newbury Park by the name of Walter Knott. And Walter Knott came in in 1915 and helped them design these cyanide containers that were able to extract the remaining silver out of the mine. Well, a little bit later than that, you'd find that Walter Knott would come back in this, the, in this then ghost town, would purchase it in 1951. He would then take some of the buildings that were here and he would move them to his new theme park over in Buena Park at Knott's Berry Farm. So the ghost town that we know as Ghost Town in part of Calico and Knott's Berry Farm is actually from a real town. He would then restore the remaining buildings, add a few attractions, and in 1966 would donate the park back to the county for it to be you know, a reminiscent and an experience for the people to know what it would have been like to live in the gold rush and silver rush era here in California. Thanks for joining me on a quick visit to Calico to check out some of this local geology of the Barstow Formation and a little bit about the culture of the Calico ghost town itself. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe. Did you hear that? Hey, it's our last train. You want to go check the last train out of Calico? We'll talk soon. Beautiful formation. And I forgot else what I was going to say. That was bad.